What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here, and I want to give you a demonstration of QuickTime X's new screen recording feature. So I'm going to give you a tour of what's in my dock, and I'm using the new QuickTime screen recording functionality so you can see how it works. So in my dock, right down here, you've got the Finder. I don't keep anything that exciting down there. Dashboard, I don't really use Dashboard too much. I've sort of been straying away from the widgets, although I would like to get back to it. Firefox is my browser of choice. I also use Safari, iChat for my chat needs, iTunes quite obviously. My Twitter client of choice, I use Tweety. I think it does a very good job. This is a free version with a little bit of ads, but you can pay, I believe, 15 bucks and get rid of those if you'd like. iPhoto for all my photo. iMovie is where I do well, most of my editing. iWeb. I don't really do use that web anymore. I'm not even sure why it's there. In fact, let's get rid of it. Mail. I'm going to start using the mail client with the Exchange server and see how it works. It's something, a new feature that's found in Snow Leopard. My address book. iCal. I'm going to start using iCal as well since I can sync my calendar with an Exchange server. Calculator. Obviously a calculator. The new QuickTime player with that icon. You know, icon's pretty sick looking actually. Uh, Skype. Parallels Desktop. I hardly ever use Windows anymore, but this is a virtualization program that virtualizes Windows on your Mac. System Preferences. Time Machine. Hopefully I don't have to use that very often. It has saved my butt though several times, so I'm glad that I have it. I've got Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and PowerPoint. I do not use the iWork suite. I'm sticking with uh, Microsoft Office. I've got a shortcut here, some documents that I use quite regularly. And I've got all my applications. One of the cool things actually in applications now with Snow Leopard is that you can scroll through them. There's a little scroll bar there on the side. Kind of neat, a little bit handy, you can see some of the applications that I have and use. So that was it guys, I just wanted to do a quick demonstration of the screen capture program found in QuickTime Player. It's really nice, it's very simple to use. If you want to use it, you just open up QuickTime, go to New Screen Recording, it's not going to show up now because I'm using it, and that's really it. And in the upper right hand corner you've got a button here. That'll say stop recording, and when you want to stop recording, you just hit it. So that's it, guys, for exclusive content. Be sure to check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers And to learn more about Techno Buffalo, check out technobuffalo.com. I will see you in the next video. And this zooming that I'm doing is just by holding down the command key and rolling my mouse. Let's see, zoom around really anywhere on the screen. Um, that's not a QuickTime feature. That's just a Mac OS X feature. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.